remain with Dr. Camilla Rajivani. Today I will talk about polarity synchromeopathy. The whole world, everything that surrounds us, is a result of a never-ending dynamism between polarities, pairs of opposites that complete one another, a creating oneness. One of the greatest achievements of our civilization is the awareness that all human beings are equal regardless of their race, gender or any other differences, but not the same. We are all different, but also we are all one. Awareness and acceptance that we are all one is getting free from the world of duality. When someone is growing in spiritual wisdom, his consciousness is expanding until entire universe becomes his residence and the whole mankind his family. The pairing of opposite polarities is what makes the moves the nature from the atomic level where positively charged proton and negatively charged electron in their endless dance of attraction and rejection, love and hate, symbolically speaking, creates the foundation of all the matter throughout the entire universe. The very nature of the elements may give us life and nourishment, but also death and destruction. So which of the opposite qualities is going to be is a question of quantity. Uh, as Paracelsus once said, the dose makes the poison. Every community and every individual is found in an endless line of reactions to challenges of all kinds, and each of these is a new pair of polarities in life. Some of these challenges and our reactions uh, change uh, us a great deal and we may say that such polarities define us while, while others uh, have small or minute influence. So a certain combination of great polarities and the small ones is what uh, makes the individual. People who share a combination of polarities can be quite similar in their essence. Every human being has faced the first defining influence an event or genetic variations and its reaction that leaves the first deepest mark on the unconscious. The first deepest mark influences every event and decision in later life, sometimes in a good and other times in a bad way. So we may all this pair of opposites the primes. And your primes, your very essence is the ultimate goal to this day, just as it was in antiquity. It was written at the entrance of the temple of Apollo in Delphi, Nosce te ipsu, no thyself. For a person uh, who gains uh, this knowledge, all the key moments and situations uh, experienced in the past become crystal clear, like huge burden has been lifted. Homeopathy observes a person as a whole, and during the treatment, a wide range of polarities emerges with more or less influence on a patient as a whole. As a homeopathy digs deeper, something in common for all those polarities starts appearing that connects them one way or another. The pair of opposites that gives sense and in that way connects all the polarities in a patient are the primes uh, that mark the patient's very essence. When a homeopath is looking for the semilimum for a patient, he has to recognize just that uh, his very essence marked by the primes in order to give a remedy with the most similar essence, the one that shares the same primes with the patient. Looking for polarities is a process rooted very deeply in homeopathy because two completely opposite symptoms or modalities often lead to the same remedy, for instance, either if a patient loves or hates sweet, it uh, uh, may lead to the same remedy. So the important thing uh, is the uh, strong reaction of the patient to the sweet. The pair of opposites, the polarity, not just one of them. After the similimum, all the modalities, a mental, emotional and physical level, become one. Nowadays, it may be even more difficult to find the similimum for a patient than ever before, because there are so many trends and lifestyles that people often repress their own selves, their own nature, to be fashionable. That is why today it is quite possible that following just the patient's uh, mental, emotional and physical symptoms may be misleading, so find if the primes uh, in the patient's uh, deep unconscious may be the most certain way to find his minimum. There are no polarities in the 
glorious silence of the Lord's kingdom, no pain or pleasure, no light or darkness, no east or west, no differences, everything is one. Homeopathic similium also leads uh, the man to a state of oneness, a state in which the opposites unite and we get closer to the divine. The state of oneness cannot be understood, it can be only be felt, and similium gives us a chance to feel uh, the divine state of oneness.